Hello, trick or treaters. I'm going to show you how to make a coffee mug mod in Left 4 Dead 2. Okay, I'm assuming you already know how to use VPK and VTFE edit. I'll be discussing the texture and how to implement our in G. Okay, so this mod, my Sesame Street mug, consisted of three. There's Elmo. And I've added in Bert and Ernie. There's uh, Big Bird, which I changed. And we've got Count Dracula. You might want to download this mod and follow along if you want to learn how to do one of these mods for yourself and um, I'll go through all the steps. Okay, so there's three mugs in the mod. Those are the names that sound like that. Val. And uh, so I have three. So there's Cookie Monster, Ernie, Grover, Mug 2, we've got Abby, Bert, the Grouch, Mug 3, there's uh, Big Bird, the one I changed to, and you saw him, the Count, and of course, Elmo. So we're going to add three more in the rotation. And we're going to start with this I found on the internet. It's a uh, cookie eyes with his uh, bouncy eyes that Cookie Monster has. So this should be a good mod for the coffee mug. All right, so I'm using paint.net. You can see the version up at top there. And I'm making a transparency. I'm going to save it as a PNG, which retains the transparency. We'll call it Cookie Eyes. Put it to the desktop. We're also going to do uh, Elmo and the Grouch, as I mentioned. Slightly different versions from my first ones. I'm going to use the Cookie Monster Blue. This is a 2048 sized. I believe the original mug by Val was 128 by 64. So this is quite a bit more high def. And what you're seeing now is a template. These markings is where the image will need to go. Don't put anything below or above or it will repeat on the mug. It will not look good. So we have to stay within this. So I'm going to take my template and I'm going to apply it to Cookie Monster Blue. So I know I have to stay within these parameters. Alright, let's get the Transparency. Okay. 
Gonna have to go a bigger size. We want to have 430. It's 430 pixels. So the more we fill up, the better and more noticeable it will be on the mugs in the game. And sometimes it's not good to go the full height to 430 unless you're doing a text. So I want to make this bigger, but I don't want to make it completely 430 pixels high. Because so I'm going to repeat this decal twice to be on both sides of the mug as if you hold the handle, you look to the left, and then you look to the other side. And that's what we're doing here. We're going to repeat the image on both sides of the mug, which that's mostly how it faces in the game. Taking some measurements. Uh, this is the center. So they're going to stay in the black. Oh, yeah, well within that. Okay, so it looks like. I'm going to have to do some texture work to uh, smooth out the transparency cut did. You can see so I need to uh, take some tools, round it out, make it look better before I repeat the opposite side of the mug where I have to split it between left and right. So I'm going to take a break, speed this up, and I'll See you in a few. Okay, so now we're going to take half of this texture and paste it within the same guidelines. Alright, I need to check the alignment. Okay. good. Now we're going to move on to the second step. So basically I'm zooming in and finding the same spot. But I want to go one pixel over so that we can duplicate the other half much easier. So I'm lining it up, trying to duplicate what I see above and go one pixel to the left. That's what I'm looking for. Right, selecting my pixel I've captured it now I'm just going to slide all the way over and paste it in the very very corner and this should be an identical match. Let's uh, 
extend it. And there you go. I'm going to uh, check my alignment. Hopefully I'm good. Uh, looks like I'm just off by one pixel. Okay, so I'm going to speed up and fix that. Okay, everything's in alignment. We're just going to clean this up. Get rid of our markers. Looks great. Try to uh, fix this. Yeah, a little too good. Uh. Okay, now we're going to go save it. We're going to put it in mug. Okay. Mug 2, I'm going to call it Cookie Eyes. Save this in case we need to go back to it. All right, let's uh, all right, four, We've got two more to go. Let's go ahead and store these. So there's cookie eyes. Now let's move on to Elma. Right, basically, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to reuse the red Elmo of from before. Put in the barrier lines. Okay, copy. Let's go make the Elma Elmo transparent using paint.net. 50% tolerance. Looks good. Big eraser. There we go. Save it. PNG. To desktop. We'll call this Elmo Eyes.
bring it into Photoshop. Right, so I'm going to size it, center it, clean it up. So I'm going to fast forward. We're going to go through this elbow and then the grouch, both in fast forward. Let's store the images. Now we're going to 
create the mod. So let's take a quick overview of what we have now. Cookie Monster. Bert. Grover. Elma. Mug 2. Abby. Bert. Cookie Monster. Grouch. Big Bird. The Count. Grouch. Elma. Right. So let's package these into the RNG. That's what we're gonna I'm gonna show you now. So let's close out Adobe. Materials, props. Right. Mug one. So we want four images. I'm gonna open it twice because I want you to see the attributes. So all right, it's uh, DX1, DX1, 7.2, with try linear. So I want to import. Everything in the mug frame, all four. Highlight them. And we're going to... One one, okay. We animated texture, some point two. Make sure generate is checked. Okay, it's doing its thing. It's putting in two frames. Check mark trilinear, and here they are. Frame three. So there's four total. Frame zero to one, two, and three. I'm gonna go save it into the mod. Mug. I'm gonna repeat the process from Mug 2. I'm gonna import all those frames. One one animated, seven point two. Generate. It's done. Check mark. Try linear. Zero, one, two, three. Here we go. Save it. Okay. The final one which is mug three. There we go. Go ahead. File, import all the frames in mug three. There we go. Four, one, one, animated, some point two, generate mip maps. Let it do it quickly. There we go. This try linear. Looks good. Save it. And there we go. Okay. So they're all there. Now let's look at the RNG settings. So the last frames in the three, we have to put three in here and do a file save. It's made by Ellie. You only need to do the last frame can. And just so you can see here, it's a patch to the mug RNG. We were just in, modified and saved it. So now we can pack the VPKs just to show you my Sesame Street mugs, plus RNG. And I'm going to drop and drag onto my VPK. And it packs it. I'm going to pull it out 
and um, put it into my Left 4 Dead add-ons. Okay, I'm going to drag it. As you can see, this is your none of these will update. Saves you time. So I'm going to drag it. And we'll go test it. Everything looked pretty good. I was happy. All the mugs have good sized textures. I'm going to go get the uh, workshop uploader, get that running. I have a huge list. It takes quite a while before I can drop the file in. So meanwhile, let's go take a look at some screenshots I did and update some of these images for the mod. Okay, definitely want to change this because I'm just using Big Bird's eyes and I took a screenshot of that. So let's put this up, go into view, screenshots, left for dead two, show on disk, should be at the bottom, the last ones I did. Okay, I like this, that one looks really good. Okay, we're going 100%. And if you're wondering what's going on, um, this is resolution of 3840 by 1080. This was recorded on my 49 inch Samsung, my CH90. And it's the computer I use for making mod because I have a lot of screen so I can get in my menu a paint program makes everything more efficient not that you can't use a single 1080 screen it's just what I happen to have this is cute yes I need this one it's Grover I like Grover I don't see enough of Grover on Sesame Street. He's a star. <laughs> Don't you think so? Alright, so we're going to save Grover. Yeah, it looks good. I really like that. And you can see, looking at the bird mug, how it's yellow inside. There's no duplicate textures bleeding through. That's why we have to stay within those markers to make it look clean. I don't need that. Let's go back to the mod. Alright, let's add some photos. Okay, I want to get rid of that big bird, replace it. Go back to my mugs directory. There we go, Grover. Just upload. And uh, kind of rearrange. I want another one. Let's see. Yes, I want that one. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't arrange the way I have it and I have to do it twice, but that's okay. So, probably won't retain it.
and it didn't. Okay, let's move them again. There we go. Happy with that. And there we go. They're loaded. Okay, now we just need to drop the mod into the update, which looks like it's ready. Let's create another one. Make sure it's in the file. Everything's good. Close it out. All right. Let's go over here. Last update. And go. There it is. Sesame Street. I'm going to drop it. You see, it went from 12 to 16 megabytes because we added three more. Just put a little note in here. And updated. It's done. So, hopefully, you enjoyed this. Maybe learned a few things. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Like, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed. And don't forget, may you have pleasant nightmares. Toodles!